John Bold here with Premier Guitar. Today we are taking a test drive of the brand new Supro Silverwood guitar. Silverwood, when Supro first put it in their catalog, this was their flagship guitar. And I think a lot of it had to do with these gold foil pickups. And these are, uh, that's kind of the Supro thing, kind of a Supro signature thing. Now I know that that there's a lot of elements to tone. It's not like it's not like it's just the pickups. It's just the the, uh, the wood. It's a combination of all of them. But when you think Supro, you think gold foils, and this totally has that. These are called their clear tone pickups, which these are faithful reproduction of the ones that came out in the '50s, and their their idea was to deliver this high fidelity articulation at all frequencies and okay here I am I'm just plugged straight in this valve train amp that's the bridge it is clear man I mean there really is a clarity there that And like a weird funkiness. Uh, put it on the neck. I don't know, man. I like them. They're fun. Uh, and then in the middle position, I love that. It's strangely twangy. And it's funny, uh, the middle position is kind of the, kind of the forgotten sound on a lot of guitars. It seems like people tend to live kind of in the bridge or, or, or the neck, whatever their preference is. But it's like they forget about the middle, but Man, these two. I love them. And as you can hear on the on the intro, you put a little dirt on them and you've got you got something. <laughs> Pretty cool. Here's what I like about it too. They went with this 50s wiring and for some reason, as you bring down your volume, you're not losing that high end sparkle uh, on some guitars. It's a, it's a frustrating byproduct of the, of the wiring, um, which some people like, you know, some people like when you bring down your, your volume, your tone goes with it. But I like that this stays right up there. Uh, the tone, speaking of tone, roll down that tone control and you can get all kinds of woman tone madness. Love that. Okay, so that's just the pickups. Let's talk about other ingredients. Um, there's an option of ash or mahogany. We went with ash, uh, and ash is a little bit more. I think the uh, the ash body is $8.99. I think if you go with with mahogany, it's $8.49. But 
I mean, I love the look of it. 24.75 scale, um, Paul Farrell fretboard, uh, block inlay, ergonomic body design. I like it's got a little bit of a cut there, so it's, it's comfortable, you know, those sharp edges. Um, bug me. Uh, in fact, I've gone so far as to like take a belt sander to some of my guitars that have that. To, uh, not a great idea. Don't recommend it, kids. But I have done it because I just I don't care. <laughs> Destroys their value. My kid can deal with that. Uh, but this feels good just right out of the box. Uh, Tunematic, uh, and I do like this sort of crazy stair step, kind of uh, art deco-y sort of design right there. Strings go right through the top right there, uh, easy load. It's just a good feeling guitar. And what I like about Supero is that um, they brought back a company that was gone, and it was when I was a kid. You could find Supros around. They were they were pawn shop guitars, and they were cheap uh, and seemingly plentiful until people realized how cool they were. Now you can't find them, and if you do find them, they're really expensive. So uh, I love the fact that Supro brought brought back. You know, David Coltine and those guys. They they brought back this legendary brand, and not only did they reintroduce uh, guitars and amps from the past, but they made some tweaks to make them better. Because frankly, they, the original ones, I've only seen a few original ones, and they were a little funky. But these feel like a legit, you know, legit player's guitar. Um, I love just the aesthetic of it. I love these tuners, these old school three in lines. The neck feels really good. Um, you know, uh, how uh, a finish, like if, if they want, it's got this satiny feeling right where you need it uh, and not where you don't. So it kind of feels like an old friend. It feels more like wood. And the frets are, they feel more modern. I, I think the original ones, and please in the comment section correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the modern ones had smaller frets and this has modern player frets, a little bit bigger, uh, gonna help you with some big bends. <laughs> Feels good, and amazingly, I'm getting a little tuning after I bent it so hard, but not bad considering I was just wanking hard on this thing. So this is just a first look at this. Make sure you check out the full written review at premierguitar.com. And while you're online, hell, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff, and Hell, have the, have the magazine sent right to your home. This is John Bolger. Till next time.